Hello, so now it's time to tackle the tomato plants. I've got cherry tomato plants and in total I've got, and I'm going to show you, eight tomato plants all at different levels as you can see so these need going into bigger tops tubs and they'll stay on the windowsill a little bit longer same with these two they need splitting up but i've got these three bigger ones here now you can see that one's beginning to tilt a little bit so i need to get these in a lot bigger pots so they can grow a lot more um, and i'm going to put these three outdoors because it's now that time of year where they should be okay outside so with this, you can see it's leaning a little bit. Um, I'm going to take off this stem here and it'll go a little bit blurred at first. But if you can see the little bristles that are on the stem here, I'm going to plant it up to about here because these little bristles will form part of the root. And the more roots there are on a plant, tomato plant, the more tomatoes you're going to get. That is what my neighbour's told me. He's given me some really good sound advice. Um, so I'm going to repot them now. Okay, so I filled the bucket up with some compost. There's a bit of stone at the bottom of it as well. Um, I've removed these two bottom branches and the roots are in at the bottom. As you see, I'm not touching the stem. I'm holding the leaves. And now I'm just going to put the soil around. And hopefully all these little furry bits will uh, come out down as roots. We need to get a stick in that as well, just to keep it upright. So I'm going to get two in this pot. Okay, so the cherry tomatoes are planted up. So I've got some in that pot there, amongst a lot of other stuff that I'm growing. And there's some more, and I've put some of the sticks in, just to keep them supported. And obviously as they grow, I'll put some bigger canes in, and then start wrapping the plants around the canes. Um, keep the soil moist, water straight into the soil rather than over the plant itself. I did read somewhere as well that putting uh, mulch over the top will stop the water from splashing, sorry, stop the soil and whatever bugs and whatever are in the soil, stop it from splashing onto the leaves so you'll have a healthier plant. So I'm going to get some mulch and just mulch the top of the soil here, plus the mulch will absorb the water um, and store it a little bit longer as well hence keeping the soil uh, moist underneath so that's about it really for the tomato plant just a case of watching it grow and making sure that um, I tie up the branches as they grow because when the fruit starts growing on the plant it'll start weighing it down so I just need to make sure that um, they don't bend and snap so that they secure to the cane basically so I'll be putting some bigger canes in and as I go along as well uh, I'll be using some tomato feed I've never done this before, again I'm still learning, so just dilute this and feed them maybe once every 7 to 14 days um, and I'll keep you all posted. So again, thanks for watching.